I'm Chico from Splice and Post and today I'm gonna be showing you guys um, how to do a traditional offline online um, editing in Premiere Pro CS6 um, using Red Media. So let's get started. Um, I will go ahead and make a new project and I'm gonna call this offline online Red Media. Okay, um, everything else is set. So I wouldn't want to change anything else here. I will make sure that uh, my memory playback engine is selected um, to be able to use my GPU for acceleration of my effects. And I'll just say, okay. All right, so now, um, since I'm going to start um, in the offline, offline basically means that you, you're gonna be working with a resolution that is much, much lower than your acquisition resolution. So for example, the images that I'm gonna use in this tutorial were all shot at 5K with a Red Epic. However, I'm not gonna be editing with 5K because uh, I mean, at the end of the day, you wouldn't want to edit with acquisition resolution anyway, unless you acquired in uh, 1080p. In which case, depending on what system that you're using, even at 1080p, if you find out that your system is having a hard time to process those files, it is always advisable to transcode it or to work in a project that is much more lower in resolution than what was acquired. So in this case, I'm going to just go ahead and create a 1080 project and I'm going to call this offline sequence and I'll say OK. Very well. So what I'm just going to do, I, as you can see, I have uh, my windows all messed up here. So I'm just going to choose a different workspace uh, to fit what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and look for some red media. Let me change this to editing. All right. So I have these three clips here, and I'm just going to go ahead and select all of them um, at once, and I'm just going to import them into my bin. Okay. Now I have these three clips here, and as you could see, if you take a look here where it says video, um, as you can see, these are 5K files, okay? Um, but we are in uh, a 1080 project, okay? Uh, first thing that I want to do, um, usually when working with Red Media, you might want to consider uh, at least stepping into the color metadata to tweak some of the information in your colors. Uh, things like gamma, things like saturation, things like lifts, um, gain. I wouldn't advise you doing any creative color correcting decisions at this time, but just something to get you started. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and select. Since I know the uh, change that I want to make, I would want it to affect each and every clip here. I wouldn't do this one after the other. I'll just select um, all three and right click and I'll say source settings. And it brings me to this dialog box, which is basically your red L3D source settings. And over here, you have tons and tons of things you could change. Uh, mind you, this is non-destructive because what you're basically doing is you're changing the metadata information. So at any point in time during your edit, if you want to um, go back to how it was before or make some other changes, you still code. Okay, so this is non-destructive. What I want to do is basically change my gamma curve to red log film. And that is it. Okay, so I could have a nice flat log looking image and I'll say okay to that. And I'm ready to go. So I'll just basically go ahead and just load this into um, a source monitor. And that's it. Alright. Also, as you could see, I am not at full res. I'm going to play this at um, half res. Half res basically of the 5K will give me 2K. Okay, mind you, I am still in my source monitor. So this image here you're looking at is still 5K. All right, and I could show you guys that by I'm um, just bringing up my CUDA render system and playing back. And as you can see, my CUDA render system is showing me that it's playing back at 2K. Okay, I'm not dropping no frames uh, because my system is a little kind of is, is, is a bit beefy, so I wouldn't have a problem with that. However, if I try to go to full, which is a full 5K, it will drop frames because I do not have a red rocket card. And even though I have a monster of a system. Um, it's still not going to be able to at least um, process this, okay? So I'll step back out of here and turn off my coder render system. Okay, so let me just make some quick editorial decisions. So I'll just make an endpoint here, okay? Um, just come here somewhere there and I'll make an out point and I'll just cut it into my sequence, okay? I'll open the second clip here 
and nothing fancy just you know nothing too creative but just um, some quick cuts here at least to get a sequence and mind you ladies and gentlemen what is happening is that I'm actually cutting this 5k um, clip into a 1080 um, project okay and you guys are gonna see how it looks in just a minute uh, let me finish with this cut and while I'm on this I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, give a big shout out to my friend James Drake um, for letting me use um, this awesome awesome footage great now as you can see we have a big problem the 5k um, footage is basically trying to fit itself in uh, a 1080 um, timeline which is um, basically um, impossible okay so we lose on some frames and uh, you know now what you want to do is you might want to just at this point extract a 1080 resolution from the whole 5k so that you could be able to work in that way now the way that you're able to know that you no longer working in 5k but in 1080 is if I come here and I say 4 okay now let me turn on my code render system and try to play it as you can see it says 1080 but I'm still dropping frames okay reason being that even though it is in the 1080 timeline the clip inside the timeline is still the same 5k so it is it's the same full um, resolution that I'm looking at so it's gonna have a problem playing playing it and what some people would usually do is okay let me go here select and just you know probably just um, you know scale it down you know to just fit so I could have that what you're also doing is you're not extracting 1080 from the 5k what you're doing is you're just basically shrinking it to a workable size all right so if I go ahead and I continue, try to play it again I'm still gonna still have the same problem why because I'm still not working or I'm not extracting 1080 from the 5k so the best way to do this I'm just gonna go ahead and undo this the best way to do this is you are just gonna have to right click on the clip and use scale to frame size now what scale to frame size does is it's gonna take that 5k and it's gonna extract a 1080 resolution from that 5k so you could be able to work in your offline format all right I'm gonna select all the clips on my timeline right click and I'll say scale to frame size and now even at full if I go ahead and I try to play the clips again as you can see I'm not dropping no frames why because my clips are no longer even though it's 5k I'm only extracting 1080 from that 5k to do my edit so I wouldn't have a problem so this is usually how you want to work when you know you want to have the creative edit going on because at the end of the day um, your offline edit will not or should not be in 5k all right or should not be in the acquired resolution because it is only gonna bug you down it's gonna slow you down and you're gonna be having the problems okay especially when you have to do a lot of complex effects etc all right so if you're working on maybe a laptop or a less beefy system and even if your system is as beefy as the one that I'm having you know it's always a good choice to use a traditional offline online okay and Premiere Pro CSX is very very easy to just basically cut in HD resolution and be able to online it at the acquired resolution when you're ready for it and I'm going to show you guys now so um, what I'm going to do is just to show you guys um, that I'm going to carry on the same um, sequence here um, to my online I'll go ahead and I'll create some effects here let's say some color grading now since I would want to utilize my GPU I'm going to um, look for the accelerated effects and you just click on uh, this button here and basically that one is just going to show you every effect that is um, in your application that basically are uh, accelerated by your GPU alright and luckily for us the three will color character is one of them so I'll select all three and I'll just basically double click on this to apply to all three at the same time then I'll go individually and I'll make uh, some quick um, color grade so bear with me as I do this nothing too fancy just so you guys could see is there I'll make this a little stream okay uh, create some contrast don't want to blow things out okay and as I play through it's gonna be very very smooth okay I could bring on my uh, bring up my code arena system and as you can see I'm not dropping no frames great all right so I'll go back here um, to this next shot and I'll do the same thing add some warmth in there not too much all right create some contrast 
Okay. Play it. Great. I'll go to the last one, and this one I'll just give it a nice, cool um, kind of gray. Okay, make it very cool because it is. Um, it's just, we are looking at snow, so I'll make it nice and cool. Okay. And what I might want to do is basically go in there and just add some transitions. All right, so I'll go under video transitions and I'll look for film dissolve. And I'll just cut it into my transitions. Okay, I'm just doing this so that you guys can see that once I I uh, I I get to the online stage of it, where I will have to now use my 5K, that I'll be able to carry um, the same effects that I have or that I did during my offline to be able to just use that and just finish in 5K. So let's just say we could call this done. Okay, the offline is done. All right, this is my locked cut. I'm ready to basically master it in 5K. All you would have to do now is go and create a new sequence. And this time around, you have to create a 5K sequence because you want uh, this is going to be an online and you, you want to finish. So this is going to be uh, online sequence. I'll say OK. All right. And this is just as simple as coming into your offline sequence, selecting all the sequence, Command or Control C to copy, come into your online, Control V or Command V to paste. Okay? And voila. Okay? Now, what happened here is as soon as I brought it here, Premiere Pro does the mind, whatever magic that it does, okay? And it actually instead of you know down sampling itself to 1080 or shutting 1080p from the original 5k which we had here okay it is just going to oppress itself back to the original 5k that it was all right so right now if i go and i try to play through again if i go and i try to play through again as you can see here we go and as you can see it's trying to play at 5k and it's showing you that we had a 5k resolution all right so i might have to just go to half and play it and by the way if you guys want to know how to um get this um this back door basically if i if i could call uh, call, call it so um, to show you what is going on with your clips i will suggest you watch my tutorial uh post tips one on how to um unlock the cooler render system in premiere pro all right and that's basically it okay so i'm going to turn this off and as you guys can see, the color grade that I did is right there. Um, even my uh, transitions came through. Okay, so at this stage, I now have a 5K footage. It came through the um, creative editorial decisions that I made in the offline. The effects and everything came through. Now I'm at a 5K resolution with all the effects ready to go. And I could call this done. I could just basically go ahead and decide to export this to whatever format that I want to export. Um, and that is that. So this um, is just a traditional um, offline and online um, editing in Premiere Pro CS6 using um, the red media. This also works with um, any other format um, if you're doing DS DSLR. So let's just say you shot on a Canon 7D or 5D Mark III or Mark, Mark II and you wouldn't want to cut in 1080. You want to cut in probably uh, 720 by 486. You could do the same thing and once you're ready to online you will just um, have to copy it into um, a forest um, sequence and just continue from there. Alright, so thanks for watching.